Hey guys, it is day 100 and something, I don't know. And there is so much that I want to talk to you guys about. But I can't talk to you about it all in one video because it would be too long of a video. So I'm going to chop it up and break it up and I'm bringing you a little bit at a time. The first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is my blood work. You, you guys know that about a month ago I took all of my blood work, a whole panel, and then I even added a whole bunch of things that Dr. Ken said that we should add. So I added all of it, I did all of it, and I wanna bring some big, big results to you. I have some good things that have happened, but I also have some bad things that have happened. Yeah, some bad things. You tell me if you think this is bad or not. But I'm going to bring it to you a little bit at a time. The first thing that I'm going to bring to you guys and talk to you guys about now is my glucose blood results and my triglycerides blood results. Okay, let's start with the good. Last year, I did all of my blood work last year because I do it every year in June. Last year, my triglycerides were out of control. Out of control. Traditionally and as per Dr. Ken, our triglycerides, which measures fat in the blood, fat in the blood, should be less than 100. That's the test result that we should have, less than 100. Last year, my triglycerides, are you ready for this? 210, 210, 12 months ago, my triglycerides, fat in the blood, 210. Being on the carnivore diet for just four months, just four months, has lowered my triglycerides to a place where like, I just can't believe it. So here it is, are you ready? My triglycerides now have gone from 210 to 88, 88, 88 triglycerides. Look at this, triglycerides, 88. Is that insane? 88 in just four months. Fat out of the blood, 88. Wow. I just, I cannot believe it. I, I cannot believe that. I'm just, okay. How many times am I going to say I can't believe that? I can't believe it. 88 from 210. And my thought is, is that I'm still 100 pounds overweight. I'm 100 pounds overweight. <laughs> So if I lose 100 pounds, what is my triglycerides going to be after I lose 100 pounds? Like, where's it going to go? Or can you go down to like zero? I don't know. Okay, now for the bad. Something that makes no sense to me at all is my glucose level. So last year when they tested my glucose level, which measures your blood sugar, right? Last year, I scored a 91. This year, it went up. How can my blood sugar go up when I'm not eating any sugar and I'm not eating any carbs? It went up to 104, 104. So that really kind of just sent me for a spin. And I had to Google and I've read some articles and I is particularly like this video with this doctor, Dr. Ben, I believe he said, that this is something that happens with people quite a bit when they go to a carnivore diet and they cut out all the carbs. And the reason why this happens is nobody knows. Nobody knows why this happens to some people. He says that right now there currently are studies where people are wearing glucose monitors and they're watching them all day long to try to figure out why this is happening to some people, but they have no idea why. If you are not eating any sugar and you are, have no carbs in your system, why is your blood sugar going up? He did have some ideas on why this is happening. He said that he's seen in the past that people can be really sensitive to protein. And he says that if you're at 80 to in the 100s, that it's perfectly normal and it's perfectly healthy. I'm at 104. But my thought is, okay, but is it gonna continue to go up or is it gonna level out? Like, we don't know. We don't know, right? But he says that this could be because some people are protein sensitive and that the body makes this 
thing called gluconon. Gluconon? Gluconon. <laughs> I don't know. He said that when you stop eating carbs in your body, gluconon, gluco, glucagon, what did I say? Glucagon, glucagon? Glucagon. <laughs> glucagon goes up. It wants glucose to go up and they don't know why. I will keep monitoring my sugar levels and not on a daily basis and I won't, won't do that. And see if it levels out or see what's going on. So what do you think about blood sugar going up when you're not eating any sugar and when you're not eating any carbs? It's a mystery and it is happening to me. Let's meet at the comments. I'll see you on the inside.